Top 10 Most Beautiful Abandoned Mansions in the World Dream castles in fairy tales and hero stories have always fascinated us. Most of us grew up imagining living in one of those, and many of us still haven't outlived the imagination. Welcome back to another fascinating episode of Lord Luxury. Today, we are going to explore some beautiful abandoned mansions in the world. Keep watching until number six to learn a spooky story. Are you ready for the journey? Buckle up. We delve into it right now. Number 10, Lennox Castle. We're starting out strong with this doozy oozy looking castle. This beauty looks straight out of a fairy tale where the prince and princess spent happily ever after. Lennox Castle in Scotland was constructed in 1812 for John Lennox Kincaid Lennox. He was apparently a distant family of the clan Kincaid. They were descendants of some of the well-known early earls of Lennox. Long story a little shorter, the mansion was home to an influential Scottish family until it was converted into an asylum for the mentally ill in the 1930s and a hospital during World War II when the existing mentally sick patients were transferred to other buildings on the property. Apparently, fights among the patients were common. In one nasty fight, much of the staff ran from the hospital. However, the rebels were locked within, and in the end, they significantly destroyed the ward. The hospital was abandoned by the 1980s and officially closed in 2002. There's now talk of turning the house into flats. Number 9. Dungeness Mansion Nuzzled between live oak trees in George's Cumberland Island lies Dungeness Mansion, or what remains of it anyway. The grounds were home to many notable figures in American history. That includes the British immigrant James Oglethorpe, who built a hunting lodge in the 1730s, Revolutionary War hero Nathaniel Green and Thomas Carnegie. Their family built a new mansion on the site in the 1880s. The Carnegie moved out to Dungeness in 1925, long before the castle was ravaged by fire in 1959. Today, the remains and grounds are managed by the National Park Service as part of Cumberland Island National Seashore. Number 8. Combusnethan Priory The Gothic Revival Monastery was designed by James Gillespie Graham in 1820 and highlighted towers at each corner. It is perhaps surprisingly one of the more fantastic surviving examples of 19th century neo-Gothic architecture in Scotland. Acknowledging it has not been maintained since the 1980s. The building has collapsed into severe decay. It's noted as at risk by the Scottish Civic Trust. Number 7. Louis Family Mansion Built in Baroque style, the Minchon Ghost House, aka the Louis Family Estate, is a freaky place with a tragic history. It is located in the Taiwanese countryside. It's been abandoned since the 1950s when the family fled abruptly. There's plenty of lore around the family. Like all mysterious places and why they left the once beautiful home, rumor has it that the family's housemaid was having an affair with her employer, Liu Rongyu. When the secret became public, she committed suicide. A few years later, the estate was occupied by members of the Kuomintang of China, many of whom were also believed to have died of suicide, which heightened its fame as spooked. Of course, there are also different, far less eccentric accounts out there, like the idea that new trade needed the family to move closer to downtown. <laughs> Number 6. Bannerman's Castle Bannerman's Castle sits on an island in New York's Hudson River. Francis Bannerman VI Francis Bannerman VI, whose family started a military surplus business post-Civil War, bought the island in 1900 to use as a warehouse. He also built a smaller domestic residence nearby. But the building ended with his death in 1918. A few later explosions hurt the company more. When the law changed in the 20th century, sales quickly declined. Then a storm ravaged the island, destroying the ferry people used to reach it. It was pretty much abandoned up until the late 60s when the country bought it. It was exposed to the public for tours for about a year until another fire destroyed it. Still, the Bannerman Castle Trust later started holding tours again. 
Number five, Linwood Hall. This neo-classical stunner has a painful association with the sinking of the Titanic. Design architect Horace Trumbauer designed and built between 1897 and 1900 for owner and Titanic investor Peter A.B. Widener. Linwood Hall is the most extensive surviving Gilded Age mansion in the Philadelphia area. Once lavishly decorated with Persian rugs, silk, velvet cushions, and one of the most admirable art accumulating in America, Linwood Hall has dropped far from its grandeur days. Widener died in 1915, following the demise of one of his sons and grandsons, who drowned when the Titanic sank in 1912. The mansion has been abandoned, for the most part, since the 1950s. Number 4. Hook and Manor. It was initially constructed in the 16th century for the Bishop of Reading. Hook and Manor, Hook and Manor has run on to lead a quite a musical life. Blues rock vocalist and guitarist Alvin Lee purchased the house in the 1970s and added a recording studio. Pink Floyd's David Gilmour purchased the home in 1980 and recorded some music before auctioning it in 1987. It has since changed hands many times over the decades. Continuously owned Owned by production studios, the house has sat abandoned since 2017. Number 3. Kinmel Hall it's a national treasure in urgent need of protection. It was outlined by English engineer W.E. Nesfield in the 1870s to the Hughes family. Kinmill Hall has not been utilized as a private residence since 1929, when it was turned into a wellness center for the treatment of rheumatism. It was later used as a clinic during World War II before converting from a home to a girls' school. The fire accident required the school to relocate in the 1970s. The building was renovated and utilized as a Christian convention center until 2001. It has sat untouched since then, and in 2015, Kinmill Hall was noted by the Victorian Society as one of the prime ten at risk Victorian and Edwardian houses. Number 2. Wincliffe Castle. It's a story only a novelist could picture up. In fact, the majestic nature of the 19th century mansion designed by architect George Vitch and built in 1853 for Elizabeth Shimmerhorn Jones was represented by Joan's niece, author Edith Wharton, in her memoirs, A Backwards Glance. So majestic was Jones' home that her affluent equals felt forced to build similarly magnificent digs to build similarly magnificent digs in the Hudson Valley influencing many to believe the dwelling cost the phrase keeping up with the Jonases. Wistfully, Wincliffe Castle is far from placing the standard for aiming country homeowners today, as it has been abandoned since circa 1950. Number 1. Bokor Hill Station Just a photo of Bokor Hill Station's skeletal remains once a luxury hill resort for colonial inhabitants in southern Cambodia is enough to enchant paranormal theories. Built in 1925, the Boker Hill Palace Hotel was vacated by the French in the 1940s during the First Indochina War. The resort was opened in the 1960s only to be submitted again in 1972. The Khmer Rouge took over the area, although the original structures remain abandoned. The site is being redeveloped developed for tourists. It has been used as a filming spot for City of Ghosts 2002. Which mansion had caught your eyes? If you had enough money, which one would you wish to buy? Let us know in the comment box below. See you soon with the following video. Until then, adios amigos.